<laughs> All right, uh, the 49ers are here, and uh, they're going to be practicing against the Broncos for a couple of days. Uh, are you hoping for two good, clean days of practice, or, or are you hoping for uh, a little bit of fighting, a little bit of wrestling, uh, uh, a little hopped up down at Dove Valley? Uh, do we want that? I'm not into fighting. No? I, I don't care. To, I, somebody could get hurt, ask a quarterback for the uh, New York Jets. Uh, it could lead to bad stuff. 49ers, I just feel kind of sorry for. They're not any good. I know. It's been, I mean, two years <laughs> but ago. I don't want such to. a proud franchise, and now I such a, a dog I, franchise. I'm interested, and you wrote a note today. I'm really interested to see uh, the rugby player. Jared Hayne. Yeah. yeah. He, is had, he is having a camp where they can't get rid of him. Return man, running back. He, he's averaging more than 21 yards a punt. Explain to everybody who he is. Jared Hayne is a guy who played in the Australian Rugby League. Not rugby the way we know it here. It's a different form of rugby in Australia. Not and really. he was And he was voted the best player in that league. San Francisco 49ers decide to give him a shot. He wants to come to the States and give the NFL a shot. And so far in the preseason, he is averaging more than 21 yards of punt return. And as a running back, he's averaging more than nine yards a carry. He's the sensation. It looks like he's going to make well, that team. Well, the sad thing about it is that, sad's not the right word, they, they've shut down, quote, camp. I think they should have allowed the fans come for another week. This is when Just you want to see him. Well, two reasons: you want to see an, them go against another team, oh, okay. and you can't maybe go to the games. You you can't get a ticket. You can't afford it. Whatever you want to take your kids there. It will be more electric. It always is when another team comes. So in. I I don't know why, and I haven't asked anybody, but I don't know why they shut that down. I mean, why not have another week when the team's here or bring the team in earlier? They're playing them this week. That's why they're here. But that's sad, because I think fans should have a right to see them playing somebody in an exhibition. You keep talking about get rid of the exhibition games and have replace more them of these. with scrimmages between two teams. Yeah. But the other thing is, I would like for people to be able to see him. Yeah. I'd like beyond the press. Yeah. I'd like to. Uh, you'll get a chance either on TV. What time is the game on? Saturday night. Uh, Seven o'clock, I believe. Would somebody I would check guess. that? The game Saturday night? The I would guess. The preseason game? That's Jared Hain right there. Um, all right, so, you know, Tom Landry. So I don't, uh, don't want to see fights. I want to see players. When Tom Landry was the coach in Dallas and, and Gil Brandt was the personnel guy, they always thought out of the box. They brought in sprinters. Bob Hayes, who won an Olympic gold. Um, they used to bring in guys who weren't necessarily football players first, but were athletes first and turn them into football players. This seems to be what the 49ers are doing with this guy. Do you think more teams need to think out of the box like that? Absolutely. A a Antonio Gates, basketball player. Julius Thomas, basketball player. Jeb Putzier, who we had on last, last week, basketball, basketball player. player. So why not? Uh, World-class sprinters? Tennessee had a lot of guys that they took that were on the Olympic track team and made them wide receivers. Willie Galt who went on to win a Super Bowl with the Bears. Absolutely. Yeah. I would think in terms of rugby players, I've always saw it. I went, to, I went to Australia, and I've told the story before, I'll make it really short. I saw a soccer match, I saw a rugby match, I saw Australian rules football, which is a combination of a little bit of everything, and the NFL game. The NFL game was the most boring. And I thought then, bring some of these Aussie Rules League players, bring some of these rugby players, I would do that. I'd bring in, I'd bring kickers in from Europe like they used to do. The guys that play soccer, yeah, sure. they don't do that anymore. They used to Gogolak, Pete Gogolak. I would do it. I would go out and find athletes and say, let's try this guy at wide receiver. Let's go get a guy that's six seven that plays at Colorado State and see if he can, you know, bring him in as a free agent and see if you can put him on the practice squad. Nobody's going to pick him up. A rugby player. And develop them. Wrestlers from Japan. Ooh, defensive linemen. No, offensive linemen. Offensive linemen. Line. Either think, one. You offensive think you or could defensive. get through a sumo wrestler and he gets to wear an outfit? Well, the, yeah. <laughs> the reason I said defensive is you get a big enough guy who can occupy two offensive linemen and let the linebacker sweep in and make the tackle. Either, feel, either uh, line would be good. Haven't you wondered why somebody had never tried that? Yeah. Put that guy up there, they, they used to go out and boom. Like Refrigerator Perry. He was the prototype. 
Yeah, but he wasn't a sumo wrestler. No, no, but my point is big enough that they could play him on defensive line and stick him at fullback at times and let him run the ball. Who was a great wrestler from Dan Gable from Iowa? Iowa. Yeah. Wouldn't he have made like a linebacker or something? Yeah. He knows leverage, that's for sure. That portion of the big stuff brought to you by Grand Prix Motorsports. It is your source for the original motorcycle, Indian motorcycle. So check out the newest line of Indian cycles at Grand Prix Motorsports on County Line and Santa Fe. And that is the lovely Shannon on her Indian motorcycle. Uh, am I, am what I, am I ever going to get you to try my Southern Delta? You know what? I, I have done that. Said, I, I kind of like it. So good. I kind of like it. And it softens up the peanuts so that when you finally get to the peanuts, they're nice and they're nice and soggy. Well, they have all the, they like chew well. Boiled peanuts. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. And they have those energy bars that they say sweet and salty. Mm -hmm. And they kind of got peanuts and a little caramel or something. Yeah. This is uh, something that I grew up doing, and people on a round of horn when I do it, they all kind of laugh. But if you've never tried this, no, it's, I it's like trying it. to get the peanuts to last, though. Because <laughs> you get down to here and you got one peanut and a bunch of salt. <laughs>